hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Around the Town with Mark. You know I'm always glad that you tune in and visit with us. Well, spring is just about here. After spring comes summer, and summer is the time of the year where families get together and plan lots of great activities out and about our beautiful area with so much to offer. Well, this year there's something totally new, something very exciting, something you're going to want to put on your calendar. And today, my two guests are going to tell us all there is to know. So allow me, that's Groton Bank Day, by the way. So allow me to introduce my two guests, Marion Galbraith and Leslie Evans. Welcome both Thanks, to Mark. Around Thank the Town you, with Mark. Um, please introduce yourselves to my audience and, and what your, your association with Groton Bank Day is. So my name is Marion Galbraith, as you said, and I am the president of the board of the Thames River Heritage Park, which connects visitors to um, both Groton Bank and the city of New London and Fort Trumbull. I'm also working with you on Art on Groton Bank yeah. and I'm a member of Friends of Fort Griswold. So lots of different organizations are coming together to make this a great day. And as usual, a very, very busy person. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Leslie Evans. I'm the director of the Avery Cop House, which is a historic house museum on Thames Street. And I'm really excited to be collaborating with other cultural and historic preservation groups in our neighborhood to bring this event to our friends. Well, there's, there's a, a, a lot of, of people coming together to make this day sure are. Um, something that's going to be a lot of fun. Marion, would you sort of introduce us to um, Groton Bank Day and sort of give us an idea of, of what it is going to be? Sure. So, so Groton Bank Day is going to be held on June 9th, which is also Connecticut Open House Day. And it really is a combined effort of many organizations, the Friends of Fort Griswold, Avery Cop House, Ebenezer Avery House, Art on Groton Bank, Thames River Heritage Park, lots of different organizations, Bill Memorial Library, to really showcase what it is that Groton Bank has to offer in terms of arts, culture, and history. It's a big day of events and activities to draw people to what Groton Bank has to offer. Leslie, would you tell us a little bit more about Groton Bank itself and, sure. and the area and what makes it so special? So Groton Bank, as the name implies, it was named that because it's on the bank of the Thames River. And it, it was a settlement that developed after New London became established and, and people wanted to live in Groton, but still had to cross over um, the river to New London in order to go to church and do a lot of their business. There was a ferry that linked the two. Eventually Groton became an independent entity and the neighborhood of Groton Bank right along the river there was really the commercial center of Groton and a very desirable place to live. Um, sea captains who had ships that sailed out of New London could live on Groton Bank and see their ships across the river, but not have to live within the hustle and bustle of a, mm. a maritime port like that. So um, there are a lot of beautiful houses on Groton Bank that represent many um, different uh, eras in our history and lots of different architectural styles. So it's a wonderful um, neighborhood to be able to explore. And it's, it's interesting, you, you, you mentioned the New London side um, and the ferries that, mm -hmm. that used to run, but you know, a lot of people today that buzz across the Gold Star oh, no. Bridge don't think that there wasn't always a bridge there. There wasn't always, no. well, obviously cars. And uh, you know, It's so pretty it, amazing. It, the bridge is really a little over 100 years. Which is you know, really, so for it's, our it's area, not very long. so new. The river is so wide and so deep that there just wasn't the engineering yeah. technology to build a bridge that long yeah, and I always until say the end of the 19th century. You look at the Groton over to New London side, and it's like so close, but yet so far. Um, not anymore so much, but at one point, at least when you're talking these sea yeah, captains uh, and things like well, that. Well, it's... It, it wasn't then either because it was very much linked by the water. Um, there, there was constant travel back and forth with private boats, with ferries, with everything from rowboats up to large ships were in that harbor and going back and forth and the, and the economy of New London and Groton was very much connected. I think with the coming of the automobile, and a big bridge like we have now and a highway that um, allows you to bypass communities. Um, it's become, you know, maybe more separated. But now we have a water taxi again in the summer that, uh, that brings that historic link back. So you can mm -hmm. still, we're really lucky now that you can 
and explore the, the harbor from the water like that, even if you don't own your own sailboat. Right. So it's well, nice. we, we are a, a, a community that's really all around and focused on mm -hmm. water and our military and, and everything like that. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the water taxi in a minute, but okay. um, I'm sort of thinking that, that it's almost like we're talking about one big party. We are. We are. Where all Everybody's these places invited. are going to be open, <laughs> yes. and and so I mean, you're, you're talking about an entire community coming together. Um, so I think that's very exciting. And, and I think that's one of the things that that I at least have learned from the Thames River Heritage Park is that when we work together, when we collaborate, we really leverage you know the visitorship that that the Avery Cop House might have or the Ebenezer mm -hmm. Avery House might have into one big look. A uh, more comprehensive look at what an area has to offer, and and Groton Bank has so much to offer, uh, and and so we'll as we said the houses will be open, uh, we'll have an art festival, music, all yeah. kinds of things. Yeah, there's Food, there's all the, a lot all the things to, that people love. Yeah. <laughs> a lot to day. enjoy, and of course a lot of it is historic, but it's not all history based. There there's art and and music and all kinds of culture, or if you just want to have a good walk, there's a lot of places. Um, that are just wonderful to, to walk through or to walk by. But we, we realized with all the different resources that our neighborhood of Groton Bank has, and um, piggybacking on the success of Open House Day, Connecticut Open House Day, which um, takes place the second Saturday in June, a lot of these historic house museums are open free that day with special activities anyway. And so we thought, how can we build on that by banding together and then inviting other groups to join with us so that people who come to visit can see not just one or two or three places, but maybe six or seven or eight this year. Certainly, certainly. And mm -hmm. this may be a minor detail that we've neglected to mention so far, but we're talking about June 9th. Yes, we are. And uh, the hours, uh, Marion? Well, we're looking to have the, the Art on Groton Bank open from 10 to 4, mm -hmm. the different organizations. You're open from 10 to... Yeah. We'll tr I think we're going to try okay, to be up in the same hours. We're still working on some of the logistics with, exactly. with all the different places. Places, but hopefully we can coordinate hours so that all the places will be open the same amount of time, perhaps extending our hours a little bit because when people come to an event like this and there's a lot to see, it's hard to fit all that into three or four hours. Certainly. But if we can be open for six hours and provide some assistance with transportation too, which yeah. we'll talk about a little later mm -hmm. in the program, mm -hmm. we hope that people will be able to get around to as many places as possible. And we're actually going to have a passport that visitors will get. Uh, so a little booklet that will show all the different sites that are available to visit. And as they go around from location to location, they can have their passport stamped and, and hopefully a, um, some prize at the end and a, an incentive oh, um, to get people to do that. But they can also keep that passport so that they can use it as a visitor's guide all summer because that's just the beginning of the idea. summer, and they, we hope people come back. That's a, that's a great idea. Well, Marion, this is a sort of a good point to talk about art in Groton Bank. Um, that outdoor art festival that happens on the grounds of the beautiful historic Bill Memorial Library. Uh, you and I are both involved yep. in, in the planning of that event. Um, and uh, I'll let you take that away a little bit and tell the, uh, our viewers a little bit more about what that day or Art and Groton Bank means. Yeah, so Art and Groton Bank has been going on for, what is it, 12 years now? This yes. will be our 12th year That's correct. Um, that it's been going on. And we usually had it in July, and we thought this year, again, uh, that we would capitalize on uh, Connecticut Open House Day and, and join in collaboration. So up on the grounds of the Bill Memorial Library, we will have artists and artisans who will have their, their wares there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a food truck. We'll have music. Um, we'll have, it, it's a good place to kind of check in as you go out and visit all of the historic places. Um, if you take the water taxi, which uh, will run from 10 to 10 that day, if you take the water taxi, you can take transportation up to Art on Groton Bank, find out what everything that's mm -hmm. going on, and from there go and visit the Avery Hop House, the Ebenezer Avery House, Fort Griswold, uh, the Mother Bailey House. But right there, it's kind of a nice 
center point to be able to um, visit some artists, do your Christmas shopping. That's what I do every yep, year. Yep. Um, do your Christmas shopping, um, have some lunch, listen to some music, sit down for a little bit yeah, as you go off and explore. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like Art and Groton Bank would be the, the perfect place to take a break from all the other wonderful activities. Go to Art and Groton Bank. Of course, you're going to want to walk around and see the artists and do your shopping, but at the same time, Sit down, relax, yep. listen to some great jazz music, uh, grab some delicious food, take that little break, and then go back again right. and visit the rest of, uh, so you don't have to do it all at once. And depending um, on how you plan your day, you know, if you come over on the water taxi, you can make that your first anchor point and then design your day. If you drive your car, you can drive right up to Fort Trumbull and start there and go out and do your day. If you start at one of the houses, you know, you can, mm -hmm. you can kind of fit this in. And because we're trying to have that transportation that will move people around, we understand that because it's a bank, it's a little uh, bit challenging <laughs> sometimes. sometimes. We're walking. It is a, yeah. some steep um, yeah. there. That you can go back and forth. You can move among the sites and and you can continue to come back to Art on Groton Bank for, to refresh yourself and, mm -hmm. uh, and get started on the next leg of your exploration. Now, um, Art on Groton Bank does offer ample, ample free parking for our visitors alike right around. That. And that's always important. I like to make mention to, to people that are interested in Art on Groton Bank that it is not a parking problem. Um, but let's talk about some of the other things aside from cars. Let's talk a little bit more about the water taxi and the shuttle services and things like that that will be there available to um, our visitors. Sure, I think we could do that. I know I brought some images to okay. show viewers um, some of the sites they could see and, and maybe we could just scroll through those Certainly. and think about um, that we, we will have some kind of shuttle, whether it'll be a bus or whatever it might be we haven't arranged yet, but we will have some kind of transportation. Well, we can promise that, it won't be a horse-drawn carriage. Right. Well, yeah. well, that would be wonderful <laughs> if it was. Well, but it would I, be lovely. I it suspect won't be. <laughs> it won't be. <laughs> Something a little more modern. But it will be making a continual circuit around um, all the different sites that are taking part so that people can walk if they want to, or they can walk a segment if they want to, but they can also ride. So there's, so even though we're talking about all these various points over a fairly big area, mm -hmm. we're gonna make it so easy yeah, for people to Yeah, that's what our, our hope is, is to remove any obstacle. So if, if whether it's time or um, mobility or accessibility, mm -hmm. we, we hope to be able to take away any barriers <laughs> and just get people around. And, and I think that'll, that'll work out really well because there is a lot to see and, and it's a lot to try and fit into one day to go mm -hmm. to every place, but at least people can have a sampling and then maybe want to come certainly. back later in the summer and explore one or the other places in greater well, depth. Certainly, because the, the places that we're talking about, with the exception of perhaps Art Groton Bank, which is just that day, mm -hmm. um, a lot of these museums, that's the season when they're yes. open. So it's not just a one-time mm -hmm. shot to be able to experience some no, of these. No, it's a way for us to introduce ourselves to people and hope that, right. that they'll like us and right. want to come back again. And, and in fact, the passport program will continue all mm -hmm. summer long. So if you don't get to see everything that day, there are two things that will be just that day. Art on Groton Bank will be just that day and the Mother Bailey House. Now the Mother Bailey House is the home of Anna Warner Bailey, one of Groton's probably most significant figures in history. And it's not open very often. So it's a wonderful opportunity to be there and see that wander down the street to the Avery Cop House. Yeah, and uh, could we actually see a picture of that, Mark? That yeah, Anna yeah, Warner um, Bailey House? Uh, could I ask the uh, control room? Um, um, uh, the well, that, uh, Mother Bailey we'll, House? Uh, well, that's, of course, the Avery Cop House. Start there. Yeah, we can we'll start, start here. There. Well, sure. let's start here. So we'll start at the Avery Cop House um, just for the sake of this visual tour. But, of course, on the day, you can start anywhere you want. All right. But this, this is a historic house museum right on Thames Street. So it is virtually on the river bank. The river's right across the street from us. And Thames Street, uh, which was once called Bank Street, um, Mm -hmm. just was, was very much the commercial center of Groton. And Avery Cop House will be open all day with, historic, with tours of a historic house, but also special activities going on. We hope to have some reenactors there and mm -hmm. activities for children, children's games, um, maybe some food to taste based on historic recipes. So there'll be special things going on that day that you wouldn't have every day when you 
when you and it's came free. to visit us. And it'll all be free. So that will be um, very festive at the Avery Cop House. And then just down the street from us, about a block away, is the Anna Warner Bailey House, also known as the Mother Bailey House. Okay. And yep. this will be open uh, just special for Groton Bank Day. This is a house that um, has a, a wonderful history and hopefully a wonderful future. So there's a, a quite a strong effort underway right now to preserve this house. Built in the, 1792. So oh, 1792, wonderful. and it's and it's a, a very significant historic story in our neighborhood. Um, the friends of Anna Warner Bailey House have formed and are working towards r raising funds to restore this house so that it can be open on a regular basis wonderful. to the public. But right now it's still very much in the um, planning and working stage and is only open for special times okay. like Groton Bank Day. Mm -hmm. So we do have another historic house museum in our neighborhood too called the Ebenezer Avery House. And okay. Ebenezer Avery House is a little bit up the hill from Thames Street um, on building, Fort yes. Street. And it's right on the lower grounds of Fort Griswold Battlefield State Park. And it will be open for tours and also some kind of special offering. We're not sure what what they'll decide to do yet, but something to enhance the experience that day. But it has a very significant story to tell about the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. And people visit, can visit this house either before or after they visit Fort Griswold, where the um, Revolutionary War battle actually happened, just up the hill from there. Okay. Wonderful. So we can. Keep walking let's, around the neighborhood, let's, let's shall we? The so, more, so yeah. um, the Groton Monument at Fort Griswold will be open. People will be able to climb that monument all the way to the top if they're so inclined. And, and there's the view a magnificent there view from unbelievable. there. Oh, you can yeah. see out to Block Island on a clear day and inland just as far. So it's really quite a, a magnificent um, view from the top of the Groton Monument. Also, the Monument House Museum next door mm -hmm. to it will be open. Oh, and what a and wonderful collection that they have of There's some great exhibits treasures. inside there, yes. and um, people can use that as a base to explore the fort and learn about the Revolutionary War battle that happened there in 1781. And that is almost right next door to the Bill Memorial Library, where Art on Groton Bank will be taking place. Yeah, and here's, we a, here's, well, you can see the monument right behind right the behind library it. there. Yeah. So the library, of course, will be open but the ground's completely <laughs> alive with art on Groton yeah. Bank. And the grounds really are, are beautiful. They really like are quite, quite lovely. And, and yeah. the inside of the library is beautiful too. So I hope people will take uh, the opportunity to check, check that out if yeah. they haven't been inside yeah. it yet. Yeah. And if um, they, just, I have a few examples in here just to show what some of the different architectural styles you might see in the neighborhood. Right across the street from um, Bill Memorial Library is a historic house that is now um, a condominium association, but hmm. was the historic home of Abby Slocum, who, who designed um, our Connecticut state flag. So she lived right hmm. there beside wow. Fort Griswold and across from the library. And so that's one style of house you might see, but walking through the neighborhood, you'll see many others from very simple colonial era homes to very ornate Victorian ones and quite a number of houses that were built by sea captains. Oh, the good who, old sea captains Yes, house. and so they were yep. either prosperous in the whaling industry or in merchant trade, sailing mm -hmm. the world and bringing goods back. Yep, there and we go right there. Um, a New London was a example. really important harbor, and a lot of these captains made quite a lot of money um, in maritime trade, and they built their homes on Groton Bank, and, and a lot of those homes still survive. So you can see examples like this one, and. Um, the Groton Bank Historical Association has a really nice um, walking tour brochure that tells about the history of a significant number mm -hmm. of these houses. So this might be a good time to mention that also on that day, the Thames River Heritage Park is going to launch. I mean, it will actually be online before that, but they have invested in creating four um, walking tours of Groton Bank, and they'll be available on apps. So if you want to, you, when you get off the water taxi, you can just you know log onto your smartphone, mm. and it will take, and you can follow a walking tour of um, uh, related to whaling, 
one related to submarines and defense, because of course that's a big part of our history, one related to the Revolutionary War, or one just related to the development of Groton Bank, you know, who first settled it, who was there, what, was the, what were the commercial businesses. So if you want to walk around, you can do that and explore the history with an app so that you can Wonderful. learn about each yeah. of these houses along the way who lived there and, and what was important about them. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about the water taxi because like we've talked about, New London is right across the river. And there's of course train service into the New London train station. So anyone that's listening to us that wants to have uh, uh, visitors come from out of town, they could, they could take the train up just for the day from New York or Boston or something like that, come visit the area, visit your relatives, get off the train and you can what, walk to the water taxi? Yeah, so much? as with any event, you know, where you park and how you move around is really very important. And the, the water taxi, the Thames River Heritage Park water taxi runs from Memorial Day through the third week in September on weekends. So not only can you park across from the, um, the Avery Cop House, it, not only can you park up at Fort Griswold and, and Art on Groton Bank, but you can park at Fort Trumbull, or you can park in New London, and you can take the water taxi, come over, spend the day, and then go back to your car in the water taxi. And it's a great opportunity to be out on the water because mm. so much of our development, mm. who we are on both sides of the river, but who we are in Groton Bank and the history of it being developed had to do with the water. So you get to be out on the water yeah. and kind of see how this all got started. Yeah, and, and, and despite the fact that we are a water community, not everybody is fortunate enough to have a boat or to be able to get out on the water. You can look at that beautiful water all the time, but this is a great opportunity to grab the family and the kids and say, hey, guess what? We're going to see some fabulous things, but we're also taking you on a boat ride. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. <laughs> it and really, really does add a yeah. special element to it. And it feels awfully good on a hot summer day. Certainly yeah, to get to out, there, out there. And you never know. Nice. You, you'll see the ferry boats. You never know. You might see a might submarine. might see a submarine go by. You, there might be a tall ship in the harbor. That's it, right. It, there's always, that's one thing I really love about our harbor is there's always something different happening. It's very much still a working harbor. It's not just recreational boats. That's right. There are cargo ships coming in and out and, and there are kayaks coming in and out and everything in between. That's so always something true. going on there. But, but <clears throat> we tend when we're driving our cars to just, you know, zip over it on the bridge and not look at it maybe as much as it deserves. So yeah. I think being on it yeah. and being aware of the natural history too, the the bird life that's there and the mm -hmm. and the subtle changes in the weather and so on, that you really appreciate that a lot more when you're on a boat, I think. And those beautiful mm -hmm. breezes that you oh, get to it's really you nice off. and glorious and of course, sunsets. Uh, you know, people will want to stop and eat some of the beautiful and delicious food that's going to be at Art and Groton Bank. But after Art and Groton Bank, you can take the water taxi into New London and have have dinner That's or right. walk down to Paul's Pasta shop right there on Thames Street. So there's lots of dining opportunities associated with Groton Bank Day and the water taxi. I mean, really, if you start at 10 o'clock, you have everything that you can do that day. I mean, places to visit, mm -hmm. a festival to visit, places to eat, music to listen to, a place to sit down and, and chill for a while. Yeah, Where I, can everything. you get all it's of that? Great day. One, <laughs> if I was coming from somewhere else, that's what I'd do. I'd, get, I'd arrive... At 10, I'd go to a few houses, then I'd go up to Art on Groton Bank, and I'd have my lunch and relax at Fort Griswold, and then head out back into the neighborhood and see a few more, and then across the river for dinner, and then back again. So it could, it could just be great. And Marion, how long uh, during the day does the water taxi go? We just mentioned people can have dinner, so obviously it must run into the evening. Right, it goes from 10 to 10. It starts at Fort Trumbull at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Um, and its usual circuit is Fort Trumbull to City Pier in New London and to um, then to Groton Bank, and it does that all day so long. So just continue a little all circle. All day long, and um, once you get to the evening, it's just making runs between um, Groton City and Groton, uh, excuse me, Groton City, Groton mm -hmm. Bank, and New London Pier, unless you have your car at Fort Trumbull, and then they'll take you over to your car. So you're okay. never going to be stranded, and okay. you can run all day long <laughs> between those three sites. Okay, that's wonderful. And then again, we mentioned we're going to have the uh, some kind of a shuttle service that's going to be running. So really, there's free park at shuttle service, water taxi, food, music. I mean, what, what else could we add that, 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 that's not there in the mix? 
So as a great as, opportunity to yeah. really explore a really a, a hidden gem. I don't want to call it too hidden because thanks to the Avery Cop House and the Ebenezer Avery House and Fort Griswold, people <laughs> have been coming to the area for hundreds of years, but uh, you know, it maybe isn't as explored as it could be, and there's yeah, a lot to and, do. And yeah. I think that's something to think about is different ways to explore it. If if people have a bike, I believe they can bring that on the water tap. Absolutely. And so they could bring their bike sure, across yeah, from New London and then explore. It's all The water taxi is also dog friendly, as are many of these sites on Groton Bank. See, so if you have wonderful. a dog, um, the Avery Cop grounds, of course, not inside the museum, but all our we have three acres of grounds where we welcome dogs there. The Bill Memorial Library is a dog-friendly library, and uh, Fort Griswold, as long as you follow, you know, just basic dog manners, mm -hmm. um, they welcome dogs on the grounds there too. So I I hope um, people will come and and enjoy it with their so canine companions too. Our, the, the Groton Bank Day really is is taking all these wonderful sites that otherwise you might be marketing on the, individually, mm -hmm. and you're bringing them all t into one wonderful day, and showcasing all of them as just really how much our area has to offer, yep. which is really really wonderful. Yeah, and Marion's really been the force behind that. I have to say, she's really just, you know brought everybody together in this really collaborative way to, to help us pool our resources, but also reach out to, to f friends that each place might have, but maybe mm -hmm. hasn't explored another place. So I think, I think it's a great, um, great opportunity for everybody to help each right. other and, and hopefully for a lot of people who are looking for something fun to do to discover us. Any quick final words as we wind down? That that is there anything that we haven't mentioned that either of you well, want to I, I just get in real quick? I just want to stress that it's a chance to uh, it's a chance to um, explore, but it's a chance to kick off many explorations. Mm. You won't be able mm -hmm. to see everything in a day, <laughs> no. so just keep coming back. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's it's really a kickoff of a wonderful summer season for our area. And like you said earlier, if you don't have time to spend a lot of time at each of these sites, you'll get an idea of that they're there and come back and visit them at another time. Yeah, and to me, the beauty of it, I think, the, the most special, th of course, we always want to encourage visitation from tourists from other areas. But to me, it's also really important that people who live in our community really understand and appreciate all the resources we have to offer. Mm -hmm. And I think it so often happens you get caught up in your day-to-day -day routine and maybe don't visit the places closest to home unless maybe you have a visitor who right. comes from out of town and wants to see them. Well, I, so we hope people who live in our neighborhood will also take advantage of this day. Well, I want to thank you both for being my guest today and sharing all that good news about uh, Groton Bank Day. So thank you yeah, so thanks much. For thanks for giving us the us, chance. Mark. Appreciate it. I obviously want to thank my viewers for tuning in. Definitely put Groton Bank Day on your schedule. It's going to be a wonderful, fun day. Uh, I want a little bit of news. I've got a brand new show coming soon, Nibbling Around Town, which is going to be about <laughs> food and beverage and recipes and things like that. So stay tuned for that. But uh, again, you want to enjoy the summer. You want to put Groton Bank Day on your schedule, Avery Cop House, all these wonderful museums that, that we have to offer you, the water taxi. No excuse not to do it. Enjoy it. Thank you for tuning in today, and we're going to see you again around the town with Mark very soon.